Hi everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're gonna paint a zombie skeleton perch and we're starting right now. And as you can see everyone, we renovated the YouTube studio. It's gonna be a lot clearer from now. It's not finished yet, but at least it's good enough for filming and it's gonna be a little bit special in this video because I filmed a lot in the old setting and then a few things in the new setting. So it is gonna be a little bit of both in this video. All right, I already went ahead and I base coated my lure with black and pearl black just to make it a little bit more interesting and to give that black a little bit of a cool effect. And then I started drawing the design onto the lure with a carbon white pencil. Now this pencil draws on basically anything, but it wipes off very easily. It's also used a lot for airbrushing on car parts and helmets and metal parts to draw out the design first. And here I'm gonna make a very simple stencil used to paint the bones and it's simply just a curve cut through the stencil so you get the positive and the negative side. And by taping these two pieces together you can decide yourself how thick or wide or long that bone has to be because in this way you can decide yourself this, the size, the shape and the thickness of the bone. I recommend an airbrush if you are using a blank that already has pre-carved scales in it because if you would use a brush those bristles will be going back and forth and they're not going to give you any straight lines. So that why, that's why I prefer to use an airbrush if you're going to paint these uneven surfaces. Right, so we laid down all our bones now, now we're going to give them some depth also the, the, the head as well, the skull itself, we're gonna give a lot more depth and we're gonna use sepia brown for that. It's wicked detail sepia brown and I will have it tinted down with about 70% reducer and add some 40-50 so it's way more transparent and by shading all these edges we're gonna create a more 3D effect, we're gonna make it all look deeper. I'm gonna show you how I do this. Also between all the segments we're gonna add a little bit of a shade with this sepia brown. And if we want to we can also add a little bit of a texture on that biggest plate. I'm gonna use this stencil. Right, now I'm gonna take some Vallejo dead white in my chamber and I'm gonna reduce this quite a bit. Let's say three drops and only one drop of Vallejo. Let's do two. The idea is because that this paint is so much reduced, it's gonna give a very subtle white shine. And that's how we're gonna apply a little bit of a highlight here and there on the bone structure especially in the skull so if le if we would say that the light comes from above and it hits the skull here then it would be a highlight on these two parts see if I can cover them up and you still see it and the light might also be hitting this one a little bit in the middle Don't forget that less is more in this case. Just a few subtle highlights to make it more look alive and realistic. For this pattern I want this eye to glow a little bit. And in order to make an eye glow we're gonna need to start with a white base and this white base has to be very subtle. Now the core of this eye can be very white but as we go outside of that eye that that brightness has to fade so that white also has to fade and which that's why 
this reduced white comes in handy for this kind of effects. So we start off in the core of our eye. So we faded some white very subtle on the outside of that eye as well. So we did the bones a little bit separately and the core is a little bit brighter. As you can see on the camera it already feels like it's a white glow. Now we're gonna paint that orange. Alright, now I got some fluorescent orange in my chamber and now we're gonna slowly build up that orange glow. And we're starting again from the core of the eye we're gonna work our way outside a little bit more, but very slowly. Alright, now I got a little bit of game color white here and I'm gonna use my smallest brush that I got. And I'm gonna try to add some teeth inside of the mouth, I'm trying not to make them too big. That looks a lot cooler already. And also I'm gonna make the eye socket totally black and I'm gonna use some game color black for that. And we're just gonna do that by hand. Alright, now we're gonna put the eye in. And there we go guys, time for a clear coat. Alright guys, our lure is finished and as you can see, the detail on this one is amazing. It looks super cool and this is probably one of the coolest lures I ever painted. I clear coated this lure with a 2K automotive clear coat because it's very easy to apply and it gives a really nice finish. Also that glowing effect on that eye just looks amazing. As always guys, I will leave a link in the description below for all the products that I used in this video. These links will guide you to my webshop and there if you would buy anything you will help me and this YouTube channel. If you got any questions or ideas, leave them in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.